Hello there YouTube and welcome to this live commentary battle. Today I'm going to bring you something special for this live commentary and I'm actually going to try myself a skirmish army. Um, I've never done this before in this game, uh, but now I will definitely try it. So let's see here. Uh, basically it's going to be a cav army. So let's get the European horse trader at first. Make enemy cav less useful. Practice ground to give my cavalry a little bit more of an advantage. And let's do Shogun's Emissary to get the Great Guard. And the army is going to be as follows. I'm going to grab my Great Guard veteran. I'm gonna grab some Bow Cav. Some Naginata Cav. And then I'm gonna get some katana cap. Four of those, actually. Let's get a five total. And then let's get the rest bows. I can only get three bow units. That's cool. Uh, Great Guard is gonna supplement the Naginata cap. Three cap, five katana cap for that initial charge bonus. That's beautiful charge. Get some more katana, some more yari. I mean, and now well, maybe I need light cav instead. Yeah, no. Let's do that. I still have 200 left, so I actually might do this. Now I have 300 left. Oh, I don't have my. Oof. That kind of sucks. Well, let's get standard bow cav. Why not? And I want to get one more unit here. Four hundred fifty. There we go. That looks good. So let's hope that I get a proper map for this battle. Something with land, not much water. Um, ideal if I get ninja spammed in this situation. I mean, it would be literally freaking amazing. Saga River, that's pretty good. So today my opponent is Jake, and he is a leader general. A swordsman general. Oh, his name just changed to Harry. Okay. Hello? So one key that I like to, like one key element that I always do when I line up my armies is that, for example, here I'm going to place similar units next to each other so they're easier for me to collect. There is that unit card color thing, but I find it, I mean, it's helpful, but I'm honestly not bothered to download it. But you can see here that I've got my anti-cav alone, my melee cav, or mid-range cav here, my bow cav here, my main line attack infant cav here, and then I've got my light cavalry here now. If my opponent does have a lot of spear units, I'll just dismount my katana samurai, my katana cav, and do the job with them. I still should have plenty of cav to support. Bow cav are going to be essential in this fight. So ready when you are. And you can see I'm using, as I said, Five. Pe um, I'm making his cav less useless, uh, less useful. My cav stronger, and yeah, Shogun's emissary is probably gonna. Even if he has a heavy cav contingent, the Great Guard is gonna tilt it my way. And then again, the Great Guard is a pretty OP unit. So let's see here. I'm gonna cut the battle, uh, cut the video, and uh, bring it back to you guys when my opponent actually uh, comes back. All right, here we are again. Good luck. Have fun. Let's see what this battle has got in store for us. I'm playing against Jake, as I said earlier. So yeah, there are some, uh, some, there is some water in the middle of the map. This map is actually ideal for my formation, um, mainly because if I can get my opponent's infantry in the water, I can charge them. Like you can see, the water isn't really uh, that wide. 
Assuming that the main engagement is going to occur somewhere in the middle, I can hit my opponent really quickly and move out, and my vocab is going to be extremely helpful with his units in the water. They're going to be slowed down. My bow are, bows are going to land more shots, so that's definitely going to be great. You can see I've got some nice hills on both sides, so I have plenty of places, plenty of options. It's all going to depend on how my opponent plays and what sort of composition he has. I'm just hoping he doesn't have uh, a lot of spear units uh, supported by strong infantry. And you can see he is using the minus one morale for the enemy general, but that does not matter. So, I am going to hide my main contingent. in these trees. Uh, this army was sorta of inspired by that ar that battle with the hawk hawks player you guys saw the other day. I just, uh, I don't know, sorta of inspired me to try a skirmish army with some bow calf, but uh, I figured, you know, why not add some you know, interesting elements to it. So, Great Guard is gonna be here. Naginara is gonna be here. General right there. Group those. Group those. Start the battle. Start moving up. Wait, there's a gap here. I did not see that gap. See my opponent's army? Well, uh, are you kidding me? God. Bow warrior monks. Bow cav. Yari cav. So my opponent is sitting idly now, not doing much. So step one, get the bow cap there, get the yari cap there, the, there are three buildings, are there? Uh, there are. So let's start using bow cap. And I'm gonna have this unit dismount, I'm actually gonna send you gotta keep this one close to them as well. Dismount there. Dismount there. Dismount there. Let's have some fun. So, we're gonna find the juiciest target amongst his army, and that is the Snaginata warrior monks. He does have Yari Cab here. And they're targeting the wrong group. Gotta hit those Naginata Warrior Monks. Here comes the Cab Charge. actually gonna chase me through the water, big mistake. Now through the trees, also big mistake. And he is gonna run away. Me unmount dismount my calf. Blockade this river. Katana cab in place. Make this my new group. Gonna make sure that these guys here are 
safe away. Safe way, lol. Flying up here. So you can see that my opponent is slowly starting to form his new box. And I do have some units back here. My Yari Cav. Oh, wait, 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 wait. One of them was dismounted. Are these glitched? Yep. Start shooting at my opponent's units here. So let's test his. Reflexes. I'm going to slam that. Lol, am I gonna pull this off? Yes, I am. You can see I've slammed my opponent from the rear here and I'm hitting his general who's down to 19 men and I'm gonna actually dismount my Naginatas hitting his bows from the side and he is actually barely responding to my attacks And now with these, we we'll rush forward. General support. Our general is in great danger, my lord. General. Oh, he's being shot up. So my opponent's general is somehow still alive. Let's pull out of there. Our men are running from the battlefield. I need to get my great guard and my uh, spear cav out of there. Hit the rear of his units. Our men are running from the battlefield. A shameful display. I need to dismount these guys. General. Push my katana Sam's in there. And it looks like I'm gonna win the battle. Oh, <laughs> uh, that was fun. That was indeed fun. It was a close victory.
That was battle number 102. Uh, 102, and it was a victory. Now, uh, I probably microed the shit, because it's like 6 o'clock in the morning, but uh, I think that was a decent battle. Uh, sorry for the lack of commentary on that one, but uh, I was sort of focused trying to get the things around. wanted to show you my perspective. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed it. Remember to comment, thumbs up, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.